Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says, suppose R plus is the set of all non-negative real numbers. Prove that the function f which goes from R plus to closed interval minus 10 infinity defined by fx equal to 4x square plus 16x minus 2 is invertible. Before we move on to the solution, let's see when a function is said to be invertible. Consider a function f which goes from x to y. This function f is invertible if and only if f is 1, 1 and on 2. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Now let's proceed with the solution. We have a function f which goes from r plus to the closed interval minus 10 infinity and it is defined as fx is equal to 4x square plus 16x minus 2. We have to show that f is invertible. So for this we have to show that f is 1 1 and on 2. First we will show that f is 1 1. So first of all we take let f of x1 be equal to f of x2 where we have x1 and x2 belongs to R plus. So, this would mean that 4x1 square plus 16x1 minus 2 is equal to 4x2 square plus 16x2 minus 2. Further, we have 2x1 plus 4 the whole square minus 14 is equal to 2x2 plus 4 the whole square minus 14. Or you can say we get 2x1 plus 4 whole square is equal to 2x2 plus 4 whole square. Or 2x1 plus 4 is equal to 2x2 plus 4 which gives us 2x1 is equal to 2x2 that is we get x1 is equal to x2. So, when we have f of x1 is equal to f of x2, this implies that x1 is equal to x2 and therefore we say that fx is 1, 1. So, the function is a 1, 1 function. Now, next we have to show that f is and on to function. For this we take let y be equal to 4x square plus 16x minus 2. This means that y is equal to 2x plus 4 the whole square minus 14. Or y plus 14 is equal to 2x plus 4 whole square. So further we have 2x plus 4 is equal to square root of y plus 14. Or you can say that x plus 2 is equal to square root of y plus 14 upon 2. This means that we get x is equal to square root of y plus 14 upon 2 minus 2. This means that x is equal to square root of y plus 14 minus 4 whole upon 2. So for each y belongs to the closed interval minus 10 infinity there exists x is equal to square root of y plus 14 minus 4 whole upon 2 in r plus such that f of x is equal to f of 
स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वाई प्लस फोर्टीन माइनस फोर होल अपॉन टू एंड दिस इज फर्दर इक्वल टू टू इंटू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वाई प्लस फोर्टीन माइनस फोर होल अपॉन टू प्लस फोर दी होल स्क्वेर माइनस फोर्टीन दैट इज वी गेट दिस इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वाई प्लस फोर्टीन माइनस फोर प्लस फोर दी होल स्क्वेर माइनस फोर्टीन और यू कैन से दिस इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वाई प्लस फोर्टीन होल स्क्वेर माइनस फोर्टीन दिस इज इक्वल टू वाई प्लस फोर्टीन माइनस फोर्टीन दिस फोर्टीन एंड माइनस फोर्टीन कैंसल एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वाई दैट इज वी गेट एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई एंड देर फोर वी से दैट एफ इज ऑन टू सो सिंस वी गेट एफ इज वन वन एंड ऑन टू देर फोर वी से दैट एफ इज इनवर्टिबल Now let's find out f inverse. Now y is equal to f x, which means that y is equal to 4 x square plus 16 x minus 2, or you can say that y is equal to 2 x plus 4, the whole square minus 14. As here from the value for y, we got the value for x. So when we had y is equal to 4x square plus 16x minus 2 or y is equal to 2x plus 4 the whole square minus 14 we get the value for x as square root of y plus 14 minus 4 this whole upon 2 and this x is f inverse y so we get f inverse y is equal to square root of y plus 14 Minus four whole upon two, and so we get a function f inverse which goes from the closed interval minus ten infinity to r plus such that we have f inverse y is equal to square root of y plus fourteen minus four whole upon two. So we have got the value for f inverse also. and we know that f is invertible so with this we complete the session hope you have understood the solution of this question